So we have marked the conjunctiva two millimeters posterior to the limbus and then make an additional two marks two millimeters tangential to our initial marks. Multiple access points are created with a one millimeter sapphire. 1% lidocaine is infused inside this unicameral eye. This paracentesis site at 1 o'clock will serve as the site for our anterior chamber maintainer and therefore needs to be widened to approximately 1.5 millimeters in width. We use a 2.8 millimeter diamond to create our primary incision. We then use a thin walled 30 gauge needle for our sclerostomies and test to make sure that the haptics will fit into the needle opening before we place the needle through the sclera. An anterior vitrectomy is performed. The anterior chamber maintainer is then introduced and the infusion turned on. The 30 gauge needles are bent at the hub with the bevel up. The LI61AO three piece lens is inserted into the eye with the leading haptic behind the iris and the trailing haptic left externalized. The first 30 gauge needle is inserted with a tunnel that will be parallel to the orientation of the leading haptic. Micro forceps with teeth are then introduced through one of our paracentesis sites to grab the leading haptic. Then the 30 gauge needle and the leading haptic are brought together and the haptic is fed into the lumen of the 30 gauge needle. Once the haptic is secured, then the needle is pulled back slightly, but the needle and haptic are left inside the eye. With the leading haptic secured into the first 30 gauge needle, the trailing haptic is then brought into the anterior chamber. Using micro forceps to maneuver the trailing haptic in a hand over hand technique, the trailing haptic is secured at approximately 75% of the full length point of the haptic. Now we are ready to place the second 30 gauge needle through the conjunctiva and the sclera in a tonal fashion that will be parallel to the orientation of the trailing haptic. Now with both haptics secured by the two 30 gauge needles, the needles are withdrawn concurrently from the eye. We release our hold of the 30 gauge needle hub on the right and then use our left hand to maintain our hold on the 30 gauge needle on the left. With Ahmed forceps, we then grab the left haptic at the base of the conjunctiva. Tooth micro forceps are then used to further exteriorize this haptic from the eye. Now we use our cautery to melt the distal most tip of this left haptic to create a bulb. We then direct our attention to the right haptic. We secure this haptic with our micro forceps and remove the 30 gauge needle. The cautery is again used to create a terminal bulb. Now with both haptics exteriorized and cauterized, we can then push the haptics below the conjunctiva and into the sclerostomies created with the 30 gauge needles. We make every effort to bury the terminal bulbs of the haptics into the sclera to prevent future erosion of the haptics through the conjunctiva. We can now remove the anterior chamber maintainer. All of the paracentesis sites are then stromal hydrated to refill the eye and make the eye water tight. Anterior vitrectomy is performed once again to remove any vitreous that may be in the anterior chamber. A cyclodialysis spatula is used to sweep the anterior chamber to make sure that there is no vitreous remaining in the anterior chamber. This patient was very happy with her results when we saw her the next day as she was now seeing better than she had seen with her contact lens for the past 25 years. This is my basic technique for intrastromal haptic fixation. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.